Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, friends, boys and girls. I have no idea where it is that you are joining this episode and listening to it. When I look at my statistics, I see people from all over the world. I saw a country called St. Helena. I saw people from France. I saw people from Rwanda, Tanzania, South Africa, the United States of America. All over the world, people are tuned on to the Live Signatures podcast. In this podcast, which is a daily show, we normally talk about purpose, productivity, and resilience, and anything in between. And we normally deploy this in terms of uh, series, and we are in the middle of a series right now. In this series, we're talking about the five things that would boldly speak of you as a person of purpose. If I mention these things, you know, they kind of denote and it's a litmus test of who you are in terms of your purpose. Pursuit. If you're interested to know what these things are, we already spoke about one of them yesterday. Let us do another one today. So stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. If we were to do a recap, you notice that the first thing we talked about yesterday is your name is one of those things that will depict or they will show the world that you are a man or a woman on purpose or a woman of purpose. But you see, we said that your name is a byproduct. The name that accrues to you is a byproduct of something else. And that's what I want us to discuss today. The number two thing, the second thing, the second thing that shows boldly, speaks boldly, and I've already alluded to this, of course, in the episode yesterday, it's alluding to the fact that you are a person of purpose, is your impact, the impact that you have in this world. I know of no human being, even though I've never met everyone, who did not have a reason to be alive all of us inherently have one reason to be alive for the most part. And don't fool yourself. That reason is not survival. Survival is basic. The reason is to be productive and to be fulfilled. In fact, I can dare say the reason for the existence of the human is nothing else but to be productive. We can do any other thing, very many other things. We still do those things. But as long as we are not producing something, as long as we are not impacting, as long as we are not contributing, what happens? The fulfillment that we thought we'll have is not going to be there. And I'm talking from the point of view of creation. Why in the world would you be here on earth if your life was not meant to impact people or to impact this world so another thing that is going to identify you as a person of purpose is basically the difference the impact the effects of the impact that you've created on the face of the earth your impact will speak for itself when you pursue it i mean it doesn't need to speak you don't need to speak and say, "Oh, I, 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 I. no, your impact will speak for itself when you pursue a life of purpose. Why? Because a life of purpose will most obviously create an impact 
in someone else's life. You see, there's a difference between living to survive and actually to be productive in other things and basically making an impact or living your purpose. We all know how to take action. We have no problem taking action. When we wake up in the morning, we know the things that we're supposed to do. There are very many gazillions of things that we can do, and we do them. The question that we need to find out is, are these things connected to our purpose? Are these things connected to what we're supposed to do in the first place? See, these things that we do for the sake of purpose, if you find yourself that the, most of the things that you're doing are for the sake of purpose, obviously you will have an impact in someone else's life or in this world. Why? Because purpose is others-oriented. Purpose is selfless. So you can draw a line and on, on a piece of paper and on, on the left side you can write purpose and then on the right side you can write work or you can write other things and start looking and finding out what are the things that I'm doing in terms of purpose and what are the things that I'm doing in terms of just working and existing for myself? What are the things that I'm doing that are selfless, that are impacting people? And what are the things that I'm doing that are survival, that are impacting me and ensuring that I am alive, ensuring that I'm having a cozy and a comfortable life? Mark you, there is no problem. There is basically no sin committed when all you're doing for life is to live to fend for yourself. In fact, there's a scripture that says a person who does not take care of his family is worse than an unbeliever. So if you're living to fend for yourself, it's good. It's a, it's a basic place to start from. In fact, you shouldn't be someone who is waiting for someone else to take care of you. You should primarily take care of yourself, but it doesn't stop there. Taking care of yourself gives you a foundation upon which you can build to take care of other people or to take care of your purpose. And therefore, this becomes one of the biggest balancing acts that we're supposed to make to balance between those two things that you've drawn on a piece of paper, uh, living your life on purpose and living how to make a living. I am talking about you as the crown of creation. I have found out that even a single day in purpose pursuit is much more powerful than a whole month trying to do other things of drifting. And at the end of the day, you will never need to show off anything when you have lived your life full of purpose. Those impacted will do it for you. They will say, that guy or that lady, when you encounter this guy, when you encounter that lady, your life will never be the same. This is what they normally do. This is what they are passionate about. They see your passion. Passion normally attracts. Vision normally attracts. People catch it. People see it and they, they get moved by it. In fact, if there is no inspiration in this world, if there is no passion in this world, this world dies. And therefore, when we find ourselves in a mode of purpose pursuit and we're trying to do as much as possible for our lives, what happens is that we are building ourselves up so much so that other people start identifying what we're doing. And we're not doing this primarily so that we can be identified. That's not the point. I'm just saying in retrospect, when you look, if you wanted to find out that someone is living a life of purpose, even without them telling you that my purpose is A, B, C, and D, X, Y, and Z. No, you just look at the impact or listen to what people are saying. They are called testimonies. What are the testimonies of this, of, of this guy? They are called credentials. What are these guys' credentials? What has he done? What is he doing? What is the impact of his existence? Woe to us when the curtain comes to a close and the only thing we can show for our 90 years, 100 years, 80, is what we have done for ourselves. That is not a life of purpose. That is not a life of impact. A life of impact necessarily says, I am glad that man was alive. And I'm not just talking about your children. Of course, that's also a very big area that we cannot ignore. But other people, that if it wasn't for that person, I wouldn't have done this, this and that. I wouldn't have done that, 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 that. If it wasn't for that person, this would never have been created. This would never have been brought to the fore. That is impact. So look around you. 
in your life, what is the impact? If there is no impact in your life right now, if people are not saying and appreciating the things that you've done, guess what? You are not necessarily living a life of purpose. Impact is the litmus test of purpose. Tomorrow we continue, but until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.